Hello everyone! Today's video is a bit of an, an experiment, I guess. I wanted to make an opal looking nail. Opal is my birthstone and I happen to think that they are quite pretty. And I thought it would make a nice um, nail design. Can't say it turned out exactly as I wanted, but this is what I did. There's a white base. Um, I left that uncured and added in some pieces of uh, iridescent cellophane that I had already cut up into small pieces. Um, I used one that's got like quite a pinky reflect. I think there are different types of cellophane that have different reflex. Um, this is Lucente white holographic glitter I just kind of sprinkled over there as well. I'm not sure about the glitter in the final look. So I cured that in place, and then I covered it in white and realized that my white was far too pigmented. I honestly thought that my white was a little bit more sheer than it was. So I went in and tried to dry brush to remove um, some of that so it was a really thin layer so that you could still see the iridescent cellophane through the white. Um, yeah. In the end, I don't think it really mattered that I did white. Um, it kind of gets covered up. But there's a whole lot of layering and sandwiching of um, colours and iridescent cellophane. And I started mixing my white with a few drops of my clear pink. Clear pink? I think it's a clear pink. Uh, but in the finished thing, you'll see that the nail is quite pink. And I think it would have been better if I'd mixed my white and just clear top coat. But hindsight is a wonderful thing, and maybe in the future I will try it again. Instead of using a clear pink, I will use just a top coat. But here I'm sticking more cellophane onto the nail. Some of them I think overlap the uh, cellophane that's underneath, and then some of them are in new areas. And then I added, before curing them, down I added more of the white and clear pink mixture on top just to try and keep them on the nail. This looks a lot better in real life I couldn't really catch uh, capture the sparkliness in video. So after curing that this is just a coat of clear pink and then I used my finger to sprinkle on a bit more of the white holographic lucente glitter. I think if you're going to use glitter you're best to use it in the lower layers so that it kind of gets covered up by a few layers of polish because when you use it in this layer like I did you can still see it clearly glitter through the coats if you know what I mean and I think if you use it on, the, on say the first coat um, you get the sparkle but you can't see that it is actually glitter uh, probably not making any sense. This isn't so much a tutorial as I just watch what I do when I'm experimenting. So I'm adding in more pieces of cellophane. I also don't know, maybe you'd be better off using pieces of cellophane that weren't square cut, that had softer edges. But I feel like that would be a lot of effort to cut your cellophane into more rounded shapes. More natural shapes. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's opal inspired. I don't think you're ever going to get one that looks exactly like an opal. I also think I want to give this a go with a different um, cellophane. Did I say that already? I have a few different um, iridescent cellophanes that have a different reflect to them. So this is another layer of a clear pink polish. Like I said, I think it would look better with just clear rather than pink. And a second layer to keep the nail as smooth as possible. In the end this wasn't a super smooth nail, but because it wasn't on a person I wasn't really bothered. If I was doing it on a person I would have done another layer of um, top coat. So here I've got, it's mainly clear pink with a drop or two of white in it. Just to tone down that final layer of cellophane that hasn't had any coats on. But basically by sandwiching these layers, you've got some cellophane that has, you know, three or four coats of the sheer white o over it so it's not as... Um, and then you've got some cellophane that only has one layer of the sheer white over it if you know what I mean so it, it looks it's dimensional it's got that dimension to it that an opal has 
and I finished off with a top coat and like I said it's really hard to get this to show on camera but I was actually quite happy with the finished outcome like I said it wasn't super smooth and it was a little bit more pink than I would have liked but those are things that are quite easy to change um, when I do this again if I do this again but yes, I hope you found something in this video useful and it's another use for that cellophane if you're over the shattered glass look you can make some opal inspired nails. Sorry this was a bit of a crap voiceover, I don't know what I was talking about most of the time but thank you for watching, please subscribe and like and comment and I'll see you in my next video.